Hi friends, welcome to Spring Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. Let's go on to our next question in the series. Question is, what are the disadvantages of dependency injection? So dependency injection is a very good design pattern. So we get a lot of advantages of it. But there are some scenarios where you cannot use it. So what are those disadvantages? So as a senior engineer or a architect, you have to know both the advantages and disadvantages, pros and cons of everything. So let's understand the disadvantages of DI. So the disadvantages of DI are dependency on a framework, configuration data, difficult to trace code, and complexity in class links. So let's understand. So whenever we have to use DI, dependency injection, then the developers have to use some dependency injection framework. So they have to use a container. So that framework like Spring, etc., they, they are forced to use it. They cannot just write a standalone program. They have to use a framework and the framework would have some versions. So it has to be compatible with that version. So all those things increases the dependency of our application on an external framework. So some applications or some organizations, they do not like it because these are third party frameworks. In general, they are open source and free to use, but who knows in future, there might be some other conditions to use that kind of a framework. So that is one big disadvantage. Then comes configuration data. So with dependency injection, the clients are dependent on the configuration data and it becomes extra task for developers whenever the application does not need so many custom configuration values. So we have to unnecessarily decide on all those configurations, set it up. So that becomes another big disadvantage that we have to manage the configuration data. Then comes difficult to trace code. Since in DI, the classes and the objects are injected by the container. So the code is difficult to trace and sometimes it's for some people it's difficult to read also. But with experience, you can gain more insight into that. But for a newcomers, it's much difficult to trace and read the code with DI. Then comes the complexity. So with dependency injection, there's an increasing complexity of the linkages between classes and it may become harder to manage the complexity outside the implementation of a class. So all these are the main disadvantages of DI. Let's reiterate complexity in class links, difficult to trace code, configuration data, dependency on a framework. 